Hi, my name is Samantha, and I am the Customer Success Manager here at Learner, and we provide personalized courseware and online homework solutions that are affordable and aligned to a wide selection of open educational resources and textbook content. I'm excited to help you learn how to navigate the platform today. Let's dive in. First, I would like for us to go over some quick facts about the features of Learner. Learner integrates with almost every LMS, including Canvas, Blackboard, D2L, and Moodle. Grades sync automatically to your LMS gradebook. We customize each course to your personal needs. Each course can be shared with all the members of your faculty department to avoid duplication of efforts. All of the courses include pre-built adaptive quizzes and activities that have been built from the ground up. You can also build your own questions and activities and reuse and share assignments, making it easy for faculty onboarding. You can host interactive sessions in the classroom or remotely to capture powerful feedback instantly. You can also embed activities within your slides. This can make your class sessions more interactive and engaging for students. All right, the first thing you'll see after having logged in is all of the courses that you have registered for. Each course will have multiple sections, making it easy to assign homework across different class sections. Now we are going to explore anatomy and physiology. This will then take you to your course material, where you'll find the main interactive content. Let's go ahead and explore and learn. On the top left corner, you'll find the navigational bar. The navigational bar is a tool to help you easily access everything you just saw on your dashboard and all of your courses. Right under that, you'll find the table of contents. The table of contents contains all of the chapters and chapter sections. This can be adjusted to align with your syllabus and pedagogy. Then in the middle is where you'll find the main interactive content. We have enhanced the OpenStax textbook to include high quality images that can be explored in 3D to optimize the student's engagement with their lecture material. Students can also highlight, add to favorites, and add notes to any part of their textbook. This now takes us to the right. Here's where you can find the adaptive sidebar. Smart content consists of a glossary, flashcards, different types of activities, and quizzes. Here you'll find videos that we have curated ourselves and are ADA compliant. Everything found in the smart content can also be assigned as homework. As for annotations, here students will be able to find anything that they have highlighted, added to bookmarks, or added a note to. This now takes us to favorites. Favorites can serve the purpose of being a personalized study guide for students. Everything is divided by chapters and sections, so everything that the student has added in annotations can be found here, as it is organized correspondingly. All the student has to do to refer back to their textbook is click on the desired text, and they will be redirected to that section. Now let's explore activities. We support over 35 different types of activities. We have hundreds of activities built into each course. This can make your class sessions more interactive and engaging for students. We also offer 2D, 3D, and cadaver-based activities. We also include histology images for anatomy and human biology courses. All of these activities are tagged into the course material. Now, we can explore practice quizzes. They are divided by chapters and sections. Each course comes with adaptive quizzes powered by a question bank that has thousands of questions. For multiple choice questions, Learner provides right and wrong answer feedback. Every question is aligned to the textbook. All they have to do is click on the reference button and they will be referred back to their textbook. We also have hybrid questions. If a student does not get a fill-in-the-blank question correct after a couple of attempts, it will convert into a multiple choice question, giving the student more options. You will also be excited to know that we have a text recognition engine that will recognize spelling errors with 95% accuracy, so you do not have to manually correct each spelling mistake avoiding unnecessary work effort. We also provide students with the correct spelling. 
We also have 3D bodies for the anatomy part of anatomy and physiology courses and human biology. You can take off layers with the sidebar. You can also choose from the 18 different components that we have and the male and female bodies. You can also choose to customize your own activities using this model. On the right side, you'll find the hierarchy tools. By unchecking boxes, you can take off layers more concisely. With the tool section, you can customize your view of the image. Building activities is very easy. All you have to do is take a screenshot. Let's now take a screenshot of the scene and we will use this image to build an activity in the next section. It's very easy, I'll show you how. Let's explore my bank. To start building your own diagrams and questions, all you have to do is select your topic and then choose from questions and diagrams. Your questions can be fill in the blank, where you can also add acceptable answers, or multiple choice questions, where you put the correct answer and then your distractors. Then to build your diagram, you can upload your image, and then on the right side, you'll find the tools that you can use to create your hotspots. On the left side, the different colors you can use to color code them. You can also adjust the level of difficulty in Bloom's taxonomy here on the far right. Now I will show you how to build an assignment. We have two different types. Formative, which are considered homework, and summative, which are considered exams or tests. Let's do a formative assignment. So to start building your assignment, you're going to select your topic and leave any instructions if you wish. Then in step two, you're going to select your practices. You can choose from the chapters, chapter sections, and chapter subsections that you would like to assign. And then you can assign videos that can also be previewed. And also any flashcards if you wish to assign them. And then you can select activities from the wide selection of activities that we offer. And now from our quiz banks, practice quiz bank and or homework quiz bank. Step three is to review selected content. And then you're gonna choose if you want it to be graded, how you would like it to be grouped by, and the number of attempts that you are going to allow. Now you're going to choose the amount of points that you're going to assign. You can also cherry pick exactly what questions you'd like to assign. You can expand every question to see the details of it. And if there's anything that you'd like to report about a question, you just have to click on the ladybug to report it. And then within the next 24 business hours, we will fix the question and also the grade. Here is where you'll be able to pick any questions that you want to add from my bank that you have created. Now for the final step, you're going to choose your class section, the start and due date. For 508 compliance, you can also make any necessary accommodations. You can also choose to customize grace periods. Now we're going to explore templates. Templates make it easy for you to reuse and share tests and homework that you have already created. Here you can see the ones that you have already created and the ones that have been shared with you. You can assign, duplicate, and edit your templates. These can be shared with your peers within your class sections and other peers that are teaching the same course within your institution. This will also make onboarding easy and it will reduce any unnecessary work effort in the future, as you will always have access to them through Learner. To see the grades of all of your students for a single assignment, you have to hover over the completed assignment and click on Report. And then you'll be able to see the grades of all of your students for that single assignment. You can reset sections of the assignment for a single student or for all of them. If you would like to see the detailed analytics for a single student, you hover over their name and click Review. 
and it will redirect you to that page. You can also expand to see their answers. We also have the accumulative grade book where you can see the overall grades for each student. This grade book automatically syncs to your LMS. We have a chat button on the bottom right corner where you can also contact us in real time through live chat. On the top right corner, there is a help button. Clicking on this will open up a specific self-help page based on where you are on the platform. The help page provides a step-by-step -step guide along with help videos.